Okay, so Barry, you you interviewed the exact people, the medical people who were there that night that River died on the sidewalk at the Viper Room? Right, yeah, and also the photographer who did not take any pictures uh, of the incident taking place, but still was a witness there. And so uh, just told me everything about it, what happened. Well, I, I guess the question is twofold. It was, could River Phoenix have been saved? And uh, the answer um, is yes. <laughs> and, and that's when I say twofold. That's, there's, there's two parts to that answer. First of all, when he took or was given the drug inside the restaurant, uh, the bar rather, and uh, had his attack and it came on, if he had immediately been put into a vehicle and driven to Cedar sinai which I've driven, you go down San Vicente, it's about a seven-minute drive from the Viper Room. He would have been saved, but they didn't do that. They let him sit there and sit there, and then finally he gets so bad that he has to be taken outside. So when he was taken outside, and he's laying on the sidewalk, and he's having these convulsions, the paramedics arrived, there were three of them, and um, they immediately hook him up with IVs, because they, they do the things that are safe for a person, no matter what he's having a seizure from, we're going to do what might help him. And so they did it, and they had him all cathetered and everything. And then Joaquin comes back as the phone booth was a, a distance away. And uh, the paramedic that I talked to, Ray Ryber, said, Son, is your brother on anything? And he goes, No. And he said, Now you need to tell me the truth. If he's on anything, we can, we can interject some Narcan and reverse the effects of the drugs. So like, no, no, he's having a seizure. He's an epileptic. And so they didn't administer that because if you administer it to someone who's not on drugs, it can hurt them, it can kill them. So you don't want to do that. So based upon his family sitting there, uh, his sister Rain was sitting on top of him trying to prevent him from flopping around and rubbing his tummy saying, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. And his brother Joaquin standing there uh, talking to the paramedics, lying to him, saying he's uh, 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 having seizures. And then uh, Samantha, I was told by the photographer who was there, he just re re referred to her as the girl uh, up against the wall banging her head. So she had her back to everything. She was up against the wall, and she was just going back and forth like this. And uh, I said, oh, you mean Samantha Mathis? And he goes, I don't know. He said, just the girl, the other girl standing there. So they, they did nothing uh, to get into the hospital sooner. Uh, they lied to the paramedics that could have saved him right then and there. And the paramedic remembered that and told you oh, that. Oh, no, specifically did, specifically. And uh, one of the other paramedics, he said, uh, uh, Ray Ryber said that he didn't know River or know of him, but he said one of the other paramedics there knew River Phoenix. And uh, he kept trying to, to talk to River and revive him and saying, you know, okay, River, you're going to be okay, you're going to be okay. Is there a but, but he's standing right there. I mean, River's, River's laid out on the sidewalk with his head towards the curve. And Rain's standing on, sitting on top of him. And Joaquin is just standing right there. And Samantha's over here against the wall banging her head. And the photographer told me that uh, he just came upon the scene. He's kind of like watching and immediately recognized River Phoenix. I recognize this as River Phoenix. And uh, I remember, he said no one was doing anything. He said everyone was just standing around. And he was the one that said, somebody needs to make a phone call here. And the manager of the Turnus liquor store that was at the corner there was just standing there too, had a telephone, could have made a phone call, didn't. And uh, so he was just standing there doing nothing, and everyone was standing right there. Flower says, somebody's got to go make a damn phone call now. Do something about this. And here's a paparazzi, Hollywood paparazzi photographer with three cameras on it. He could have immediately picked it up and taken it. He said, I didn't want to hurt River. I didn't want him to look bad. So he didn't take any photographs at all. Just related to me the story that was happening. So Joaquin goes to make the phone call. Paramedics arrive. Joaquin comes back. Yeah, so I mean, so, so the, the group of them comes out, River crashes on the sidewalk, and they're all standing there doing nothing, except Rain sitting on River while he's flopping around. And then the photographer walks up, uh, I think his name is Ron Davis, and said, what are you guys doing? Somebody's got, somebody's got to be done here. Somebody's got to make a phone call. And that's when Joaquin took off to find the phone that was at the next building down the block aways and made the phone call. And then the paramedics arrived really quick. And then he came over and then they said, and, what's and, he... And, and then they said, you know, 
is he on anything? And Joaquin's, no. Uh, son, you have to tell us the truth. Uh, no, he's not anything. He's um, a diabetic and he's having seizures. And, uh, so that's actually what Joaquin told the people. Yes, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, to totally lied. Did not say, oh, well, he could have been on drugs, or he might have been, or maybe my sister knows, or his girlfriend is right there, maybe she knows. No, it was a total, n no, he's not. He he's a diabetic, and he is uh, uh, having seizures. And why do you think Joaquin said such a thing? Well, first of all, to protect the image of the Hollywood actor, uh, second, to protect the image of the older brother. And third, both he and his sister were illegal to be inside the rest of the, the bar because they were underage, both under 21. So, Wouldn't people in the bar who have been, uh, and whoever gave him the drug been charged with some kind of crime? Isn't well, that a crime? They, they should have been. Uh, the police department, and I forgot the guy's name, the sergeant who did the investigation for the report, uh, immediately the next day went to the hospital and talked with the doctors and then started making phone calls. Okay, i got to look these people up. His sister, his brother, where are they? They had left the state. They, they hopped on airplanes the next day and were gone. So there was nobody there that could even be interviewed. Which still seems strange that the Los Angeles Police Department would just say, okay, well, nobody's here so we can't get witnesses, we'll just give up. I don't know why that happened or what their procedures are, but they did. They, no one was charged with murder or, or anything. I don't even think they were charged with giving them drugs. And the other thing is that the ABC, always in California, if uh, there's an incident that involves minors or a serving of alcohol when it's not supposed to be, uh, they come in after the fact and, and fine you or shut you down. And it, it's, it, it's a common thing to be shut down for two weeks, ten days, a month, and fined for serving minors. And there was proof that there was minors because even, even they said they were inside. Okay, well thank you Barry. I'm going to be waiting in for the next chapter in your book. Barry Lawrence is what? kind enough. Are you on there? Barry Lawrence is kind enough to just give a brief uh, encapsulation of what happened the night that River died. Barry's talking about his own interviews with the actual men who were present at the event, the photographer and the medics, and they remembered quite clearly what happened to our friend River Reynolds. So this is part of the whole range here. Thank you, Barry. Thank you very much. Before actor Joaquin Phoenix walked the line as Johnny Cash, he was at his brother River Phoenix's side as he collapsed outside the Viper Room in Los Angeles back in 1993. How old is he? He's 23. Stay on the line with me and calm down a little bit, all right? Yeah, I'm calm, but he's having okay. seizures. Get over here, please. You must get over here, please. Okay, take it easy, okay? Okay, now I think he's at Valium or something. I don